little more motherfucking films, nigga. Little more films, man. We checking in, man. Look, we got a big discussion today. This is the war words. Me and your boy. RMJR, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's how it's going down. We man, we finna talk about the Mount Rushmore of chat. I've been on social media. Uh, we've been I've been seeing everybody talk about it. Some niggas getting in their feelings and all this. I'm shit. I'ma blame Steve Bedford. I he seen popped it off. Steve Bedford popped it off. Steve is your fault, <laughs> but it's a, it's a good fault though. It's a good fault. Shout though. out Steve. It's a discussion that need to be had. You feel what I'm saying? And who better than to lead the discussion? You feel me? A little more films and my boy RMJR. Straight like that, you feel me? So look, we're gonna pop this thing out. First of all, who is, who is your, okay, first of all, before we go into picking who our shit is, what you been hearing, what you been seeing about? First of all, let's say this. We talking about the Mount Rushmore of rappers, right? We talking about rap. The Mount Rushmore of rap artists. Is that, that's the way we're going? What's the criteria though? Okay, the criteria is longevity, uh, impact got to be in the impact longevity impact uh bodies of work and lyricism so them four yeah lyricism body of work impact and, impact, and uh what was the first one you said longevity longevity yeah all right all right so okay i'm gonna hey, say we, this though first of all go ahead First, what'd you say? We doing, both of us, we're gonna do four on the Mount Rushmore, yeah. and we're gonna do four, four honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. All yeah. right, four honorable mentions, you feel me? All right, so first of all, I'm gonna say my definition so we can get the rules on the table. Okay. It's saying the Mount Rushmore of hip hop in Chattanooga, right? Yeah, yeah. We, discuss, we discuss the fold that we're going to use. And we talking about from a rap artist perspective. From a rap artist perspective. Okay. Now, for me, Mount Rushmore is the fathers of the country. The USA, you know, you got George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. You know what I'm saying? They the, they the, they the forefathers of the country, of, you, of the United States of America. They the forefathers. But really, how they doing it? But how we? That's go what I'm saying. That's what. No, the no, no, no. Mount Rushmore is though. I get so that. So is we is we not going by Mount Rush like the forefathers? But, but if you look at if you look at according it, to that criteria though, the forefathers according to that criteria. But you can't say the forefathers according to that criteria because. But you can't call it Mount Rushmore then. So basically, we calling it Mount Rushmore though. Basically, they saying the four. Four top, really, they using the Mount Rushmore, but they saying the four top artists to help, basically, to ever come through check. So well, why, why they ain't just say that then? You know how, you know how we are, man. Oh, that's stupid. That but ain't what it is, though. Mount Rushmore is George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. But they, don't, they even when you look at. Not to, we don't want to go too far off into it, but this, I'm glad you brought they that up. They ain't got Bill Clinton and Barack Obama on the Mount Rushmore, man. But see, even when you look at, like, when they do the basketball Mount Rushmore, they got, if you're doing the forefathers. Jordan don't play no more, but he on now. Jordan so, couldn't even be a forefather. How come he couldn't? A forefather? He the first one to have his own shoe. What you mean? He ain't the first one to have his own shoe. The first one to go big. Like, he, like Brandon He's not the first one to endorse a shoe. He the okay. first one to have his own shoe. Dr. J, that was Converse shit. He was just So you saying he the, was own, endorsing the first person to have his own brand. Michael Jordan. Okay. He I, gotta be, he gotta be the Mount Rushmore. That. Like LeBron couldn't be on that, according to that. How come he couldn't? He the first one to come out of high school and do it like this. Besides Kobe. Moses Malone. He came. took it further than Kobe, though. Moses Malone came out of high school. I know, but it ain't the same, though, because he wasn't, Moses Malone was good, but he wasn't at the top of Kareem and then back in the day. We gonna you have said to. that. You the one said Kareem to go, so you're going to go back to no, no. Moses Malone to go. I didn't say that. You go see, back and look at our last podcast. This nigga said I Kareem to go. Now he said I Moses. Say, I didn't now say he said Moses Malone came out I of high school. I said Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Is the greatest basketball player that ever played in the we NBA. We're not That's even finna get back on but that we gon', shit. We gon', we gon', so anyway. We gon', cause he, man, 
I got to deal with this dude, man. But we gonna get into it, man. So who is your foe? Who your Mount Rushmore is? Uh, if you basing, you not basing yours off the actual Mount Rushmore, the no, fathers of the country. We, we basing it off. I'm basing mine off of that. I'm letting that be known. Oh, uh, here we go. Because that would Mount Rushmore is the founding fathers well, of you the country. So I'm gonna do the founding fathers of this hip hop shit in Chattanooga, and it's gonna be a good mix for me. But you do it great. <laughs> Let's do it. So what you so basing you, yours off? Tell I me just you, told you. So you basing yours off of the four hottest rappers in Chattanooga? No, the four, the four rappers who basically done the most. The four rappers who done done the most in Chattanooga. Well, the four, the four most, I guess. He don't even know what he want to do. No, man. It's because you, you can't fuck. Because I can't bro. say. Because if we if we gonna say the four rappers who done done the most, one of one of mine will be a producer. We talking about rappers though. He rap and produce. Okay, well yeah, he count then. He count. You you know it's your list. But it's I'm basing mine off of lyricism, bodies of work, impact, impact, and and, and lyricism. Now I said lyricism. That, and impact, lyricism, bodies of work. What was the fourth one? He don't even know what, what we talking about. See, I got him already. Man, come, on. come on, man. Come on. <laughs> I know how to use his own tactics against him. Look. This guy. I go through the this. What's so the he, we supposed to be hosting this thing together. What's the four? So, man, look. Lyricism. Bam. Bodies of work. Longevity. Okay. Impact. Quit impact. playing with me. All right, now let's get it. We so, Hold up. Let's, who, that's right. Let's write this down. Uh, let me write this Go down. Ahead. Go ahead. But why you um, doing it? You can't do two things at once, nigga. Uh, why man. you writing it down? Do your thing, man. Why that you why, writing it down? That's why we four. There you go, man. I'm saying, why you writing it down? Who you four? All right, here we go, man. My four. I ain't in no particular order. Vinny the Short. Tez D the Running Man. Frank White and Clean King Clown, them my four on the Rushmore. That's the Mount Rushmore of Chattanooga. All right. All right. I like that. And it, it's, it's really. That's a nice list, though. That's a nice it's list. It's a nice list, but really, let me let me throw this disclaim out there. Because I don't, I think it's hard to put. Just four dudes on there just to be for real with you. That just cause cause if you look at it. But my Rushmore ain't before people up there. I know, cause if you look at it. It's the founding fathers of the country. But if you look at it, if we gonna go on impact and stuff like that, the two of the guys on my honorable mention list, they ain't been doing it as long, but they've made more of an impact. All right, what's your honorable mention list? My honorable mentions list, Isaiah Rashad, Slat Zai, Sutter Kane, AKA Mr. Ma from Painted Woods, and Tony Paisley. That's a good list. I can't, I, I can't argue with that. You yeah. feel me? All them, you know what I'm saying? All them done had a big impact on the game. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I can't argue with that. Uh, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little different on my phone because I'm basing mine off the definition of Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is the founding fathers, so I'm gonna go with the founding fathers on mine. You know so you saying? saying who laid? Basically, you saying your four is who laid the foundation? Yeah. Okay, I want to hear this. I'm going my four for who laid the foundation. You feel me? I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna put Big Vinny. I agree with you on that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever came. The, the way that nigga spitting it and the way he came with it, he represented Chattanooga all the way to the fullest. Okay. On some chat shit. You feel what I'm saying? So I gotta go Big Vinny. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go uh, Frank White. You feel me? Cause Frank White been doing this shit since a young nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Since he, and since he, was he showed the nigga what it look like. He, he It's hard to get influence in Chattanooga. You feel me? Cause nigga be hating so much. You know what I'm saying? The dude don't really. You know, he really the embodiment of this trap shit in Chattanooga. You yeah, feel he, me? Chattanooga. he done lived it. He you know Chattanooga rap for real. He, he done really lived it. Yeah. You feel me? 
But on the flip end, my third person going to be Lorel. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, saying it, saying it from... I'm going to say Lorel. Saying it as a forefather. I hear that. So, I, I mean, I can't disagree with you because he did... Early on in the game, he had one. He had an amazing impact. So I can't. That's it. You feel me? And I'm gonna say Lil Rel for the simple fact that the biggest hit that ever come through Chattanooga is Wild Out. You feel That's me? That's arguable, but it's that it's, ain't it's, arguable, it's hard to argue with it. That ain't arguable. I mean, you it really is. Saying? That's the biggest song to ever come through here that went the furthest. This for my riders was a hit locally. You know what I'm saying? But while out, nigga, I done been out of town and heard that shit for real. You feel me? Like, in person. I can't. So, I, can't I know I ain't never been out of town and heard this for my riders. You feel me? So, Lorel had the biggest hit. Now, some would say he, he only got one hit, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But I beg to differ. Because you got to think, nigga, Justin Timberlake stole one of this nigga song. You know what I'm saying? Boosie stole one and Nigga, stuff. Boosie, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, shit, that's, you know, niggas were coming down here stealing that nigga shit. He was so cold, you feel me? Yeah, I can't. And not to mention he got locked up and all that shit and really yeah. living that shit he talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so I got to put rail on that motherfucker. And a lot of niggas going to get mad at me about this. And I know y'all is. A lot of niggas finna get mad at me about this. But I'm really doing Mount Rushmore or Chattanooga. My, my list would be different based on yours. But go my ahead. last person, I'm going to pick Maul the motherfucking pimp. Get what? I can't argue with you. Now man. look, I'm going to tell you. From Maul the, the pimp. From the Mount now, Rushmore standpoint. Maul the pimp ain't the best lyricist, but I swear to God. From the Mount Rushmore standpoint, I can't argue with you. Outside man. of Chattanooga, don't nobody that know no other rapper more. Them all the pimp. I'm talking about all the way from the Snoop Dogs to the BGs to the Tigger from BET to the, you know what I'm saying? To all that. You feel me? I can't. I to, mean, the, to the DJ Chuck T's to the, you know what I'm saying? They 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 know this nigga personally. He done done business with him. Then he the only nigga that got on. He on he on a movie soundtrack. The Spring Breakers. You feel what I'm saying? Like they gotta count for something. You feel me? Gotta check out that shit. You feel yeah, Mount Rushmore. Now he might not be the best lyricist, and he might not be the the best artist. But as a standpoint on this hip hop shit in Chattanooga, you feel me? That's my Mount Rushmore. But I do got my honorable mentions though. Now my honorable mentions gonna be on the young nigga side. You feel what I'm saying? Like okay. You see what I'm saying? So on the young nigga side, on my honorable mentions, I'm gonna go with Tez D the Running Man. Okay. I'm gonna go with Blue Rolling. You feel what I'm saying? Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. Okay. Ain't nobody got more views than Blue Rolling on that blue flag and out of Chattanooga, bro. Ten you feel million. Me? Ten million. I, I you know what I'm saying? I'm with you on that. You know? And I'm gonna go uh Slat Zai and Isaiah Rashad. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's, I mean, you can't, cause they 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 got the biggest wave. They they we we they, you know, Slack got Slack came out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like he just both of, both of them got a deal. They got they got the wave. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Blue Roller, one of the most talented though, bro. I done seen this nigga like freestyle, bro. Like, and it's not the knock nobody else, man. We got some hard. It's it's really like you say we need more people. Yeah. To put on this list, cause you got niggas like interstate tax hustling. You got niggas like. Uh, even uh, Cameron Williams, nigga. You know what I'm saying? C. Grammy. C. Grammy. You feel me? You got niggas like uh, uh, T. Montana. You know what I'm saying? You know this nigga hard as hell. You got Nature. Nature boy. You feel me? Like you got a whole D bunch of niggas, bro. Like and then you even got you even got Coop the Beat Man. I know he a, I know he a producer, but he put in major work on the as an artist. Then you got you got Trey. Uh, shout out, uh, young this my nigga COB's calling, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna put him on the podcast. Yeah, see what tap he's in, CEO. What's up, man? What's going, man? Uh, you in chat? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, 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 hey I'm, I'm, I'm interviewing right now, man. Don't say the wrong shit, nigga. I'm just goddamn letting you know. I, the camera rolling. You won't lie. Oh, damn. All right, well, in that case, dog, you heard me. You goddamn kicking ass. You doing what you're supposed to be doing, man. Hey, we got we 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 doing the topic right now. Who the Mount Rushmore attack, man? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go with Tez D. Running Man. Okay. Uh, Blue Rolling. Uh, Blue Rolling. Uh, Blue Rolling. Uh, Blue
me, nigga, not. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Hold on, me. tell him. Tell them who the Mount, who who your Mount Rushmore, bro, the top four artists in chat. You feel me? Shit. God damn it. I'm telling you, I'm putting on for the city. The, my boy Benny. Um, uh, what's the little nigga, the little young nigga Slat? Slat Zach? That nigga Slat. He, he going crazy. And shit. I, I really been in the studio with a um, nigga named Bird Gang. Okay. Week. And me and Bird, me and Bird been going so crazy. If they ain't in tune, this shit that finna come out right now finna go, hey, man. Okay. All right, all right, yeah. you got one more. And, and little Mo. Ah, there you go, look. That nigga done. <laughs> little Mo in that thing. They need to put our four faces on the corner of the chat, nigga. Ah, uh, hey, that's my nigga King CEO, y'all lame. You feel me from the chitlin' circuit. You, you never know who gonna call while this shit going on. You hear me? But hey man, let me call you right back, bro, when I get done with this shit. Man, hit me soon as you get done. Alright, I got you, fam. Alright. Bet. That CO, man. King CO. Shout out to King CO, man. You know what I'm saying? We got some shit coming. Y'all be on the lookout for that. So yeah. I mean, let me do let me do mine from that perspective. Mm hmm So, see we doing it from that perspective, and people finna really be pissed at me. Mount Rushmore or check. We, I'm talking about laying the foundation of it. Mm -hmm. All right, for this just from an artist perspective, I'm gonna go Vinny the Shark. We all seem to agree on that. Hands Everybody down. seem to agree Vinny is the number one nigga on the list. I'm gonna say laying the foundation, Biggie Mo. I, mm. I'm gonna have to say that as an artist, Biggie Mo, Big Mo, two Mo, Vinny, Biggie Mo. Whoo, boy, it's tough. Vinny, Biggie Mo, and I'm thinking about this on the spot. Foundationally, I'm gonna have to say from his contributions, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to say, shout it. Shout it, P. Shout it, Thuggy. Yeah. Vinny, Biggie Mo, shout it, Thuggy. This jet, we, I'm talking about as an artist, laying the groundwork as an artist. Yeah. And. I can see that, yeah, Shorty definitely, yeah, dude got down, yeah. Vinny, that nigga like Birdman around this motherfucker. Yeah, you Vinny, gotta, yeah, you gotta put Shorty on Big Shorty, yeah. and no hating. This ain't no hating. I'm gonna have to give it the little peanut. Mm. Big and Mo. So you ain't got D Cooler on the list? Land of Foundation. D Cooler didn't lay no foundation? He did, but it came after Peanut. Okay. Peanut, Shouty, Vinny, and Big and Mo. These guys rap too though, so these guys don't get on the list. As if we talk about hustlers. Okay, that's a whole different matter. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, but we talk about that's a whole different them the, That's I'm gonna say my foe for the foundation of the city as artists again. I got you. Shouty, Thuggy, Vinny the Shark, Lil Peanut, and Big and Mo. Them my foe. That's the foundation. So, Maul the Pimp don't get on the... Maul will be under Shouty's umbrella. I, I gotta do it like that. I gotta do it like that. You feel like that? He feel like that. He put out the, uh, off comes the match. He was a part of that, though. Exactly. Who was the CEO? Shouty was the CEO. So, I gotta do they, it like that. He the co-CEO, though? Not to my knowledge. Even on even on the documentary. So he was saying as an artist or a CEO. The way the way it's portrayed on the documentary he put out, he was an artist. Okay. So I, I mean that ain't no discredit to nobody, but we talking about foundation. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying he laid the business game down. Shorty even said he wouldn't even been able to know the business if it weren't for mom. But I'm saying he said that on the interview. Let me ask room. you this. This your studio, right? Mm-hmm. 
Who la if this your studio, who laid the foundation? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cause we gonna do it like this. When 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 it come to laying the groundwork, you can't argue with nobody I name. Cause whether you liked them, hated them. You know, when you come to Chattanooga, if you really about Chattanooga hip hop, you know about Vinny, Shouty, Lil Peanut, and Biggie Mo, if you know your history. Yeah. You can't, I mean, we talking about laying the foundation. So, what about some of the young niggas that's gonna hear this that probably don't know their history and they're gonna be like, man, how the fuck you ain't put. No, no, I mean, cause I know the history. How you ain't put. Uh, how you ain't put who? What's his name on the list? Name right? somebody. I, I don't discriminate. I ain't no hater. I ain't never been no hater. How you ain't put uh, Lance Splurge on the list? Lance Splurge do his thing, but. Bro, I'm 38 years old. You done seen the beginning, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. When Lance Splurge was in Private Pampers, no no disrespect to him, they were laying the foundation then. So that's why you don't agree with when I said Blue Rose? I ain't disagree because I know. He the got the most, he got more views than Big Vinny, though. I know the work he put in. I ain't, I see the work he put in. I pay attention to him. You, he, his impact is to the point you can't not pay attention to him. So, I mean... Then you gotta look at what about Young Polo? Like, you know, his daddy from real tight. Yeah, shout out Reggie Long. Yo, you know what I'm saying? His Reggie daddy. Long Senior, Reggie Long Jr. You know, his yeah. daddy from real tight. So, you, them one of the first people, so... I, he know, we he, he to, probably know the game more than some of the older niggas know the game. But we talk... I'm saying for laying the foundation for the rap, the hip-hop. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, As an art, they the future. Artist. I Wasn't mean... nobody fucking with us before these young niggas came along. Before Blue Rolling, before D Block J Mac, all that shit, wasn't nobody really checking in us. Them niggas came and made them niggas check. They made them I, niggas. I can't say that. I can't say that. I'm going to say this. The four people I named, really, let's let's be for real. They weren't getting no 10 minutes. They weren't like no, Blue no, Rolling no, no, big no. in California, nigga. Like, they, he they, big in. But see, what you got to understand, when Big and Mo, Peanut, Shard, and Vinny first hit the scene, we didn't have the internet. And? The internet means something. Yeah. I know it do, but so I'm saying, I'm saying, the, they, they, I'm they, saying the game is the game, bro. They didn't used to have a three-point line in the NBA. But you saying... But niggas still in the record books. But Blue Rolling had access to stuff that Vin and them didn't have. And vice versa. But I'm saying they laid the groundwork to, for this. And vice versa. Big I, mean, I ain't taking nothing away from Blue Rolling. Blue Rolling ain't got no shorty P. You feel me? <laughs> So vice versa. I mean, I don't know. You think you think so? You saying Big Vinny would have been where he is without Shorty P and Mild the Pimp? You think he? Well, are you saying it from an artist's perspective? I'm saying what they brought to the table to help him get the way he got. It was a team effort. Yeah, true. He'll true. tell you that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, he said it. Big Vinny will tell he, you. I mean, he already said it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, cause he said when you interviewed him. When him and Shorty was standing side by side, he said Shorty, he wanted to match Shorty Hustle by his grind in the studio, so he said it. So, I mean, it came out of his mouth. All right. Yeah. I'm just saying, all right? Yeah. All this shit is documented. Yeah. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? I mean, but like the young dudes, man, the young dudes doing what they supposed to do, they taking it to another level. And we got to, like Isaiah Rashad. Yeah. Isaiah Rashad, correct me if I'm wrong, he ain't the first person to be off of a deal, but he the first person to actually have a deal and take it to that next level. Mm -hmm. Because you got, I I remember Endangered Species. Mm -hmm. That's my dog. I remember when Mr. Mob had a deal on the table but with I'm saying, a that record. You said Tom P too though. Tom P. I got to cuz see Tom P. We going to be honest. Tom P. Without Tom P. Do hard though. Without Tom P and slaps I said it himself. He he used to check out Tom P freestyle. Tom P really was one of the first dudes around here who was on the on the Facebook thing and he was pumping this pumping his music heavy through on social media. Yeah. yeah. So so you got to, that's why he had to be in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I dig it. I so dig I, ain't, I mean, I'm just coming with straight facts. I, 
I'm damn near like a his, hip hop historian. So, so, so just, to, just to, okay, since you the historian, I feel like I'm one too. Yeah. What's your top four songs that ever come through Chattanooga? Boy, that's tough. Top four? Top four songs. And I'm just going off the top of my head. And this is based off impact. And, and this ground up now. I can't, I gotta put wild out in there. What did he say first? Let's rewind I, the tape. I, we talking about impact. We now. gonna rewind the tape. No, 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 no. We gonna rewind the tape. When I say I Lil gotta Rail, say wild out. When I say a little real, come on. Alright, go ahead. Nah, when you said it from the They gonna rewind and listen no, to what no, you no. said. From the perspective you said, I could not agree. I, I had to agree with you. Yeah. I gotta say wild out. Shout out to Coop the Beat Man on the beat too. Yeah. Cause when the beat, Lil Rail will tell you when that beat come on, it was undeniable. Is it? Cause we were like, what? Four. Wild Out, Shine, by the HBGs. Whew. Wild Out, Shine. Four Marauders gotta be in there. And. I, I want to do, I want to give everybody some shine. Cause you got wild out from the east side. Shine. Fuck that shine shit nigga, what's the top four songs? It don't matter if all of them from the same neighborhood nigga, what's the top four? Ooh. I'ma have to go. I'ma have to go with the Missy click. Uh. The uh the Tennessee type song, I gotta put that in there. Alright, my, my top four songs is uh uh Wild Out. Okay. For my riders. Okay. Shane and motherfucking uh I'm gonna go Mystic Click too, but I'm not gonna go Tennessee Titans, I'm gonna go bling bling. Re I mean the reason I put I'm saying bling bling because nigga I they, feel they like was on with that. Cash Money stole that shit, bruh. One no bling bling song out, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Bling bling. That shit came out first before bling bling. Now I'm not saying they stole it. Great minds think alike. But I'm just saying them niggas had a million dollar idea. Yeah. Because bling bling from Cash Money went on to make millions. Yeah. So they was thinking like we're gonna call it bling blingy. But they didn't even know that Cash Money was talking about bling bling. They was had a good idea. Yeah. But they just didn't have the right connects to connect the dots. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm gonna go them my them my four. You feel me? Yeah, but on the new wave shit, what's your what's your on the new wave? Cause you know we gotta show love. It's a yeah, you gotta show a big history. We gotta show that love was to in our that was in our decade yeah. when we grew up. We, they, yeah. Some of the young niggas didn't get to see what yeah. them songs did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So they they might don't know if so, they don't see no old so footage. We, so we going new wave. Now. New wave. Your top four songs. I gotta I, go first this time. Go ahead. I'm gonna say. Uh, on gang bang, I don't fuck with the gang bang shit, but blue rolling, blue flagging, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go Taz need a runner man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what song? Probably give it everything you got. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that shit would be, I heard that shit out of town, bro, in okay. the strip club. Okay. I was in Atlanta, that shit came on, nigga. You feel me? Them, <laughs> them bitches was in there turned up. I was like, the nigga from Jack. The nigga from Jack, look. Then my third person, my third song, gonna go go with, um, I'm gonna go with, um, D Block J Mac. You know what I'm saying? What song? That one when he, that song, he flipped the shit with, with, uh, you know, Tupac be like, uh, my mama was a crack fiend, mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, but he flipped it on his daddy though. Okay. That, uh, uh, that, that my whole life I've been going through this my whole. Yeah, the name life. of the song, my whole life. You know what I'm saying? That more, hey, but that that touch, hey, cause I know what he talking about. You feel me? Like yeah. I, I watched my daddy get on dope, bro. You feel me? Like this yeah. shit touched me right there. And I know it's a bunch of niggas in the world who that song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he got them views on that motherfucker. So um. So that's three. That's three. That's three. Uh, my fourth song, my fourth song gonna go go with um some newer shit. I like that uh that shit Young Polo just did. That federal, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even heard. Yeah, you gotta go tap in on that. Young Polo federal. 
Young Polo Fer, you know he made beats though, but he done start rapping though. Yeah, I you seen, feel what I'm I saying? seen that. I like where he going with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, and then I'm gonna go with uh, Slash Eye. That's five. But go ahead. I'm gonna go with Slash Eye on that um, that shit where he represent East Lake. You know what I'm saying? When he's saying that's where he from, he's late. You feel me? Okay. Because, you know what I'm saying? That's what every chat nigga aspire, bro. Like, to get on that stage and represent their neighborhood where they from. You feel me? Okay. And salute. That nigga did it. You feel okay. what I'm saying? He 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 made it. He got it to that level. And, you know what I'm saying? He he, he let his hood know that he, th you know what I'm saying? He did what he supposed to did, man. You did what you supposed to did, young nigga. You feel me? So salute, man. Cause that's what I'm gonna do if I get that chance. You know what I'm saying? So that that's why I choose them. So you said new song, newer song. Sort of newer, you feel me? Okay. Oh, I, of course I don't know everything, cause you know I fuck with young media, I fuck with a lot of these young niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like but Man, man, man. I'ma say, I'm gonna say Isaiah Rashad, I shot you down. Woo! Is that just because of the, the impact that the song had? Yeah, yeah. I got you. Isaiah Rashad, I shot you down. I want to do, I want to do, I want to do two songs. But do it. Because they got the same name. What is it? Smoke All Through the City. Oh, Both Ted, of, Ted's in uh, uh, T, -Montana. T Montana. They did their thing on that. That's that's real hip hop shit, but that's, yeah, I ain't want, I ain't going into that cause. Nah, we ain't gonna go into it, but I mean the impact of the song. Ah, so that's that would be tied for two. I mean we're gonna I, you count that for the same. I got you. Yeah, we gonna respect. We are gonna group them together. Shout out to both of them. Uh, let me see three. Isaiah Rashad, the smoke out through the cities, both of them. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go. I guess I'm gonna have to go with uh, Blue Rolling, the Blue Flagging. You can't deny it. I gotta go with that. Yeah. And I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Tom P. The one time. That motherfucker was banging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that uh, yeah, that was. Yeah, I'ma go with Tom right Tom yeah. P one time. I can't argue with that. I can't argue I with mean, that. I mean it's it's a lot of, I But mean, it's a lot of niggas are getting in their feelings about this list shit though, man. Yeah, I mean I cause, in the comments. Cause we think about thinking about the song, you got the J Mac Water World. That was tough. Like Come on. Like now. that right there? And it it when I heard it. I went back to the uh, set it off, and I'm like, yeah, that, that's that's yeah. what put me put him on my radar. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, so so you gotta give him that credit. I mean, you me. got to man, cause it's that's why I said the fold. But they gonna knock the clown, King Clown too though. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, dude, dude. Hard like though. King Clown got the uh, the gangsters, yeah. and then he got the first day out. Mm -hmm. That first day out, mean man. He just. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got, that's what I'm saying, man. But what I do want to say, man, y'all niggas don't get in your feelings, man, about no damn list, man. I mean, that's just, at the it's end just of the day, about all our opinion. Everybody got their own fans or whatever, you feel me? It's just, it's just, you know, a nigga opinion. You feel me? Because I could have easily said newer list. I could have put a song that would have been biased that I was on. But I was like, no, nah, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't that. The Black Lives Matter. But this ain't that. Yeah. But if we talking about impact, you can't deny that song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so then we need uh, think about the people you was on that song with though. You feel me? All them niggas got And you, you look at you look at KB Brown, the he, under, the he, under, the understanding. He when he dropped that understanding, yeah. So I mean you got again, man, if And the OG you, that was on the song. Big Tazmo. Tazmo, nigga. Tazmo was on shine. That's what I'm saying. Tazmo got some hits. That's what I'm saying. Man. Yeah. Then, like, honestly, man, you go back and really think Coop about it. Coop was on that motherfucker, too. Coop. Coop. Like, and then if we don't, we going to talk about laying a foundation. You got to have Coop in the mix somewhere. Like, 
fun because so what about what about okay oh go ahead go ahead I'm sorry go ahead I, well, cool, cool go ahead go ahead because you you look at all the groundwork that Coop done put in and then let's be honest duck tracks T rolling all of them come from Coop. the Coops they come from Coop cloth no disrespect to Coop them said that they I mean they said that they self about Coop yeah so know. you know what I'm saying. So, but I'm saying though, so that leads me to my next question. What about, what's the Mount Rushmore of producers in Chattanooga? But you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Let's say that one, let's say that one for next time because this is a lot to digest. But next time, we gonna talk about who the Mount Rushmore of producers in Chattanooga, you feel me? Stay tuned, man. This 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 the war. Man, hey, man, it's the war. Word, it's, it's it's crazy, man, cause you got the, like like Mo said, man. Don't get in your feelings, cause then nobody mention your name. Can't nobody take away from the work you done put in. It's a lot of dudes out here, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot. lot. Like it's a lot. Cause you got your you got your land splurge, you got your Tom P's, you got your Mike D's, you got. Man, there's so many young dudes around here. You got, let, we can't forget about the house. YG Tuck, Michael yeah. Da Vinci. Like, it's it's just so many dudes. It's L hard. LG Mr. Grinch. You feel me? LG, uh, Chattanooga Tang. Big Tang. Four Deuce Trey. Yeah, you can't forget. PC. Re yeah. You can't forget about, hold up. I'm going to take y'all back. You can't forget about. Fred Rose De Niro. You can't forget. Hell no. AKA Smoke, Smoke Dog. Dog. You can't forget about Young Twist, the Rat Racer. T Rising? Yeah, you can't forget about him. Yeah. Then you can't forget about Young Trey. You can't forget about D Cool. Do Preezy? You can't forget about him. Yeah. Man, yeah. it's. it's uh, Jose Tree? Woo! Come on, man. Jose Tree. Jose Tree, oh. You thought, you thought I was going to forget about you, didn't you, young nigga? You thought I was going to forget now. Nah, See, nigga. check this out. Jose Tree bringing that heat every time. Jose Tree hard. You Jose Tree to, been doing it since he was a young kid. You just got to stay out this motherfucker, yeah, man. You got to stay out, down, Jose. You know what I'm saying? Put that work out, man. I'm a, Frank White finna get out of jail, nigga, 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 woo! Boy, I'm finna I know give that you another one. one. I'm finna I know give Frank you White finna come with, nigga, I can't wait, nigga. I'm, I'm finna give you another one. No way, Jose. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Lil E, shout out, man, look, man, this is real stuff. The Menace? <sighs> Prentice. Yeah. Prentice. Prentice the Menace? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give y'all a story about you Lil E, man. You thought going up on you, didn't you? Man, hey. there's a little more films. I'm up on all you niggas, man. You hey, feel man, me? Hey, man, that's a lot of dudes. Jay Dollar, you feel me? I'm up on I just, you just made me remember somebody. That boy J Flo. Ooh, yeah, J Flo. Man, it's, hey, it's, yeah. it's a lot, man. It's a lot of dudes down there put, putting that work in, man. Mm hmm. <laughs> and, I mean, it's so many. Uno Bird, East Dev, by way of Atlanta. Yeah, man. Like, it's so many dudes that's doing their thing. Man. Yeah. Oh. Just sleep. Oh, Swayvo. Swayvo. Nigga, we tripping. Hey, this nigga Swayvo on motherfucking 2K, nigga. He got the motherfucker. He got the Tennessee Valley Credit Union commercial. Swayvo. Swayvo played the sack. Come on, Swayvo look, look, need to be. Look, look. The only reason we probably didn't say Swayvo because he a little R&B-ish. But Swayvo so hard. Swayvo yeah. so hard. He'll play the saxophone. And rap on your Then bust the 32 on you with the quickness. Man, and then it? turn around and be in a uh, Tennessee Valley commercial That's doing it, this thing. He he wearing so many hats, man. Shout out to Swayvo. So, hey, Swayvo Mama mm -hmm. is a poet, man. Okay. All right. It's cold with it. Okay. Shout out to Miss Marshall. Hey, I'm, I'm on. That's it. Hey. Yeah. But yeah, man, uh, next time we're going to talk about the top four producers, maybe even the top four DJs in Chattanooga. Hey. Mount Rush? Yeah, hey, man. Then, hey, it's so many lists with this thing. I'm t Let you have fun with this shit, man. Y'all niggas don't get in your feelings, man. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga don't name you, don't get in your feelings, man. You feel hey, me? Hey, man. Come on, man. And if, look, if you gonna get in your feelings, get in your feelings by putting more work in. Show them that why you... That's it. Show them why you the best. Yeah. If you gonna get in your feelings, then okay, that, that should motivate you 
to show them you the best. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, there's a little more films. I am JR. And we up out this thing, man. It's the War Words. You feel me? And uh, y'all make sure y'all get in the comments, man. Let everybody know how y'all feel. What's your top four? You feel me? We out this thing. Bam. Little more motherfucking films, nigga.